Nathan has reached out to us today for the second date update. Uh, they have agreed to go on another date, he, he and Melissa, but that never happened. She's not even responding, but it's weird that because they already made plans. What's even weirder is we have her on hold because uh, <laughs> she did answer our phone call. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she agreed to talk to us on the air. Um, I don't think she's too pumped about it, but let's let's see if we can bring her on right now. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, hello. Hey, Melissa, thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us on the phone. And this is about a date you went on. And I'm just going to recap something or kind of what we know real quick for you. Uh, We know that you went on a date with this guy, Nathan, uh, to Donovan's in Riverview. Uh, He was very excited about the date. He said he's been playing the date over and over in his head, thinking about what could have gone wrong. And all he can think about is the things that have gone right. And the fact that you guys talked about hanging out again. And he's really, really trying to nail down that next date with you, but hasn't heard anything and is just confused on what's going on. So is there anything you can tell us that might be the reason that you're not getting back to him? I just, I just want to, I want this done. Okay. Because I mean, I got to block him from social media. He's been, he's been texting. He's been calling. He's been on my social media. (laughs) I get all these messages that he's, he's commented on stuff and now he's calling you. What is up with this guy? Well, he's really into you, so yeah. I guess... Sounds like he's trying to get in touch with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a great date. Yes, yes, yes. And then he was second me fine. But I mean, I have like 35 notifications from him for every morning when I wake up. He's all over my social media. He's being a creeper. And you know what? This Hopefully this phone call will make him stop. Okay, so what is he doing exactly on your social media? Just commenting on things? Like, I don't know. Liking it? pictures? Well, he, He's going through my pictures from, like, years ago. He's liking all the photos. He's commenting on all the photos, all the posts. He's getting in fights with my friends over stuff that happened years ago. Wait, what? And I'm getting all these comments, and I'm getting my friends, co- you know, contacting me going, who is this Nathan person? So he's arguing you know, with your friends in the comment section on your pictures? Yes. And I've had to delete, like, half of his comments on Facebook. Why don't I'm you just reach done. out to him just, and just be like, hey, man, could you lay off my social media pages? Oh, my gosh. I think he would have gotten a hint when I don't respond back because I don't well, I don't want to engage. Well, obviously, he has not gotten the hint because that's how we got your phone number. And we have him on the phone with us. Oh, my gosh. And I want to bring him back on because um, it sounds like you're just really annoyed on his social media activity here, uh, or basically his activity on your social media. It's creepy. All right. Hey, Nathan. Yeah. You're hearing what Melissa had to say. Are you kind of, uh, you know, doing the whole Facebook, Instagram stock thing? First of all, I don't think there's a problem with looking at your social media presence and just, you know, looking at you and trying to learn a little bit more about you and your background and stuff that maybe we haven't covered on our date. You know, I'm just trying to get to know you a little bit better. And if you would have called me back, I probably wouldn't have had to do some of these things. But, you know, I just got curious and I started looking at your, your social media stuff. I don't think that's a big deal. You are liking everything. You're getting in conversations and fights with my friends. Like, it's not fights. Dude. It's not fights. I'm just, I'm just trying to prove that you were right in the situation that, you know, some of your friends didn't seem to, to feel that you had a right to say. So I'm just <laughs> backing you up. I'm trying to get to know you a little bit better. If you'd called me back, maybe we, I wouldn't do this. But these are posts from like four or five years ago when I did not know you. Yeah. Why, why are you involved like, in stuff that happened, you know, you know, a couple of years ago, Nathan, just out of curiosity? Well, when you look up somebody on social media or Facebook or something like that, you want to go through some of their stuff and say, you know, you what do. are they into? You know, have they changed a little bit? You know, can I go back and see what she used to look like? Has she changed her appearance? You know, hair color, cut cut her hair, things huh? like that. But you know, why does that I'm even matter? To to a bit before a second date, you know, Nathan, I was going to call you back, but you know. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're you're blowing up my social media, and you're you're making all these comments and stuff. And my friends are asking me about like who is this Nathan person? Of course, I'm not going to call you back. Okay, so obviously, <laughs> when it comes to social media, you guys should probably stay away from each other. But you yeah. guys did have a good date. Um, I got to ask this. I'm just going to ask it. Ask it. Ask it. You got to. Um, Melissa, do you have any interest in seeing Nathan again? I have all the interest in getting him to leave me alone. All right, Nathan, doesn't get more clear than that. I'm sorry I said the answer you probably wanted to hear. 
let's just lay out the social media stuff and let it. You guys just go your separate ways. All right, man. I mean, all this because I, I was liking posts. We had a great date, and now this is what happened. <laughs> just wasn't her thing. All right. I hope you guys can kind of just separate and not talk anymore because I think that's the best for everybody. And um, I do appreciate you reaching out to us, Nathan. And thank you, uh, Melissa, for coming on. Okay. Yeah, I hope this puts an end to it. I hope so, too. All right, you guys take care. I don't blame her. He's commenting all over her pictures on Facebook. I mean, they don't even know each other, and he doesn't know her friends. That's kind of weird. Well, it's a red flag to anybody if you get you know a notification saying that somebody liked your photo from X amount of years or months ago. It's like someone's scrolling through your stuff. You're giving yourself away. Right. I don't think, does he not know that she gets those notifications and it all says, Nathan, 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 like. (laughs) Oh, I don't think he has any problem with her getting those notifications, (laughs) which is the problem. Yeah. Uh, Would you have been freaked out by this or do you think she did anything wrong in this situation or are you siding with her? 800-992-1099, 800-992-1099.